Hey guys, what is up? It's Safwan Aviation here and welcome back to another trip report. This time we're going to be flying from San Francisco to Doha aboard Qatar Airways on their amazing Airbus A350-1000. Let's get started. After completing check-in, I moved on to TSA and immigration to get my passport stamped before I was officially out of the US. But I guess officially I'll be out of the US once I'm in the aircraft, in the air and out of US airspace. So after immigration, we headed off to the duty-free area and towards the gate. But trust me, if you've ever been to Dubai or Doha, that's what duty free really is. I mean, being here, it's kind of small, but it's fine, I guess. One more thing that I'd like you to notice is that this duty free area has loads of luxury brands such as Gucci and Burberry. Well, your average consumer is not really looking for that in a duty free store. But I guess that's enough criticism for one time, so let's move on to the gate. While moving through this area, I came across the captain and the first officer for our flight who told me that this aircraft, the Airbus A350, is actually very speed sensitive. And that's due to the shape of its wings. So it tends to overspeed when there's turbulence and that's why they tend to sometimes deploy the spoilers even at cruising altitude to slow the aircraft. Finally, after a long walk through this terminal, we reached a point where I could see the aircraft actually, but before that, here is a Boeing 777 from Air France getting ready to leave the Fort Paris and beside her is the Airbus A350 that will take us to Doha and in the background, an American A320. After that, I went downstairs to gate A11 for boarding. What I did not know at the time was this flight is going to be delayed quite a bit. As you can see, I'm showing you the clock at specific intervals of time to show you that we were delayed by a lot. The flight was supposed to leave at 4, it was 3.55 and we were still at the gate, not boarding. Finally, we're moving towards the aircraft now. The mood lighting on these A350s, it's way too good. So the leg room on this seat which is very good. My seat number is 39K as you can see on the IFE display and here is my view. So the tray table opens up into two configurations. One is the smaller one for drinks and then the larger one for meals. It can be pulled towards you or it can be in its original position and here is the air sickness bag that was provided in the seat and the safety card wasn't so I just borrowed it from my sister. The seat comes with a universal power outlet for bigger devices such as laptops, a USB port for phone charging as well as the headphone jacks. Um, provided with the seat was the pillow and a blanket. Both of these were on the seat but I kept them down so I could sit. Um, both of them were very soft and very comfortable. I used them throughout the flight and it was, it was a very pleasant experience. 
However, we may experience some turbulence during the flight, so for your safety, please keep your seatbelts fastened. A refreshing towel, which is essentially a hand wipe, was also provided. So, who we got in there? Cafe. Yeah. Lemdoski here yet? Hey, okay, coach. Ah, Lemdoski. Okay. Listen up. So you all know why we're here. The pre-wedding briefing, coach. No, 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 no. Tell them, Rob. We're here to make an airline safety film. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are wearing a face shield and face mask is due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, kindly ensure that you remove your face shield and face mask prior to putting on the drop-down oxygen mask and during a decompression. Thank you. So we should have been airborne about 27 minutes ago.
Signal Service will come in shortly with a container followed by warm sandwiches in flight and a brunch will be served prior to landing into Doha. I can say with personal experience that Qatar Airways in-flight entertainment system which is known as Orix One is one of the best out there. It has a multitude of options which include movies from Hollywood, Bollywood, Arabic movies as well as thousands of TV shows available on the spot so that you can enjoy your flight. Now I'm going to move through the system and I'm going to say Styland so that you guys can have a look for yourself. After departure, we got a snack as well as some orange juice to enjoy with the spectacular view outside the window. After probably one and a half hour of departing, then we got our main meal service which consisted of, well, it was basically lunch slash dinner. Um, it was beef with some mashed potatoes, metal cutlery which I love a lot, especially in economy class. It's very good, feels really premium. We got a Coke, a soft fresh bun as well as a chocolate mousse sort of dessert, a bottle of water and a salad. After the meal we got these chocolate wafers as well as some coffee.
the lavatory was clean for the most part except some water here and there but that's bound to happen the sun set for a bit and then it rose up again and while i was enjoying the view i was also getting some work for college done So I took a little nap and then after I woke up, we had a breakfast service, we had some jam, bottle of water, as well as once again metal cutlery, very important, um, some sort of yogurt with uh, a strawberry base I think, as well as a fresh bread roll, some fruit, we also got apple juice, coffee and for the main course it was an egg with some sort of potatoes then we also got a travel with confidence protective kit which included masks sanitizers all sort of stuff corona thank you um, other than that a sort of amenity kit which had socks an eye mask toothbrush toothpaste pretty good Time really does fly when you are on an airplane, soon it was time for descent into Doha. At the time of this shot we were 29 minutes out which means that we had already started our initial descent. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the beautiful approach into Doha accompanied by an amazing sunset.
Summing up the experience that I had with Qatar Airways on my way to the US and back, I would say they're pretty good. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, especially when you're flying long haul, 16 hours, you've got a great seat on Qatar Airways, great meals, amazing service. So if you have the chance, do try them out. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do consider subscribing and liking the video as it really helps the channel out. I'll see you guys 